All right, so you guys remember this, right? This was the site of the future chicken coop that we talked about in the How to Raise Baby Chickens vlog. We'll check it out now. Bam. Full on coop with full on chickens. Much like it takes a village to raise a child, it took a team to build the coop. And I wanna say thank you to all of my friends and my wrestling buddies who came over and helped us out with this. It, uh, it came out pretty well. It came out pretty well. All right, so you guys wanna know how it was done? Let's check it out. So we have these, these were actually all done on SketchUp. My girlfriend put all these together beforehand to kind of give us a bunch of pieces and layouts of what would eventually become this. What you got going on over here? Mm -hmm. Chicken coop building time. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. What is going on? We are filling in the sand at the base of the chicken coop. Digging some holes! Digging holes! There you go. <laughs> chicken coop, uh, day two, three? One of those. Hey, man, my pot. It was the thing to hold it there. I was like, as soon as I looked at it, I was like, I'm dumb. These are probably easy. Oh, yeah, what do you got? Here. Yeah. Oh. Those two. Oh, so, oh yeah, that's fine. Use a mistake. Down there, right? <laughs> Do my Mike Tyson things kind of a... <laughs> That's how the boxers do it, right? I, this is it. This base is done. Get the legs all set in. We're getting ready to work on the actual body of the cup itself. Yeah. Down some of these industrial super mega tacks for setting up all the chicken wire. Hopefully, keeping all the little critters out of it because we got a couple in these neighborhoods between stray cats and raccoons. Everything's gonna try to get to them. We're gonna try to keep everything. So, we are taking these metal clip nails. Metal cap nails, those are metal caps, and uh, using it to put in this quarter inch galvanized hardware claw. Galvanized hardware claw. So these things are also great ninja deterrents, right? Guess if I chase it, hey, no more problems. Tension. So what this is gonna do is all these little flat pieces are just gonna hold this in a little easier, make sure everything stays nice and flush. I like this particular kind of, uh, this little fence for the hardware cloth as opposed to just normal chicken wire because the chicken wire tends to be a little wider. Things with small paws can reach into it. Whereas this, if you notice just how tight, how close these all are, pretty much impossible for anything of any kind of threat to reach through any of it. We want to keep those little things as safe as we can. Yeah. 
I am cutting doors for the what for the ramp for the nesting box. So chickens can climb in and out of the front on their own, and he's kind of encased in. And then the nesting box is going in the back, that's where we all the eggs from. But this particular piece of plywood was actually provided to us by a buddy of ours who uh, he just built a poker thing, and this is the top from it. Decided to find a way to repurpose it, upcycle it if you will, and it is now becoming the front and back entrances on the chicken coop. We're gonna continue to plunge cut our way through here so we're adding in two by fours because the width uh, of the original opening was too much. So it was too wide for this, so we had to help more in. So we put this in. Slightly distracting, because I put a screw into my hand. So when you build yours, don't do that. Did the same thing on the back side. Gave it an extra brace to screw in that piece of plywood, that part of the poker table, into the frame itself. And then just reinforce everything, clamp it in. Actually, I'm gonna use a clamp to hold this side. Attack mosquitoes the whole time. Attack my mosquitoes. You may recognize this spot. Actually, you might not recognize. It might look a little different because the last time we saw this, it was a just barren dirt and rock area. Now, full blown chicken coop. First, we had thought about getting the having this kind of open from the top and drop down the bottom, but just for the sake of getting the make sure the eggs didn't roll out of them and everything we decided to go to the top loader here and it, it does pretty well holding itself up we haven't quite secured everything yet though my bad <laughs> these are actually made out of shelves that came out of our our pantry we started doing this whole pantry demolition rearrangement which i'm pretty sure i got a clip of busted through a wall at some point of that <laughs> here's johnny <laughs> so i might put that in here all right let's lock this thing back up so this, this is a very important element here. Currently on our tin roof, this is just a little foam lining to make sure it's uh, given the height. No one's getting cut up too bad. We've already had a few people bump into it and that's, you know, no fun. Eventually what we want to do with this is get a rainwater barrel and kind of all the, do rainwater collection off of this and kind of use that to feed back into the chicken pool. Now, put the magic. The grand chicken coop. So inside here, we're actually going with the deep litter method, which is why this is so high up. It's really just kind of a composting method in here where we keep all the shavings in, and then as they kind of make a mess, we fill them back up, and it starts to compost, which actually is supposed to decrease the smell. It's going to smell a little better. So I'm not quite sure how that works yet, but I'm gonna find out. You only have to clean a couple times a year. So we've also got our roofs up here. Something a little lower, something a little higher for them as they get bigger. We got the laying boxes. These are blocked off for now until they get a little bit older so they don't start getting into them and making a mess. And then we have this cool little door right here that operates from outside. Now if you see right here, it's all on a manual pulley right now, but that way we can kind of let them in and out and keep them closed in at night, mainly for safety reasons. All right, now let's see the people part of the chicken coop. This was actually a door that we had found at the Habitat Restore. I think it was like six bucks. This is, uh, does the job. I had to pull a bunch of nails and staples out of it, but essentially it's pretty good. It's a light door, so easy to install. But we had to reinforce it with both rocks and wire just to keep predators out. Step into the coop. Got our own little chicken porch, little landing area for them. Handle installed here, so that way when you're not using the, <coughs> excuse me, not using the drawstring on the door. You can kind of come in the manual, open it. Made a little step for them here too, just to kind of give them a little boost until they're bigger. And you've got your ramp over here. Now, let's say about that, it's a ramp. Yeah. So security with this was a big deal. 
we actually opted not to go with traditional chicken wire and went with hardware cloth instead. So we went with hardware cloth because of the smaller opening versus chicken wire and pretty much just wrap the entire thing in. So everything's stapled in here. We've got a couple layers of it, zip ties in, and then it makes a skirt around the bottom, in which case you will then see these rocks, which it's still a project in process. It's not done yet, but it's pretty close. So we end up doing a raised coop for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is to kind of keep them off the ground, so for predators and just for general weather and everything, kind of keeping them, giving them a raised spot, keep them out of the elements a little bit, and also gives them a spot to go in and play which also kind of keeps them protected from weather too. They got a spot to go if they want to be outside, but it's raining. They don't have to be in the rain itself. Speaking of rain, I'm getting dripped on right now. I don't know if that was squirrel pee or uh, actual rain. <laughs> we don't have it ready yet, but we've got the food and the water feature as well. So that's probably gonna be another project here. Another few days for that one's done, but it will get on video. Teach them though. You gotta learn this. You can teach them how to do it. All right, come on, chicken. happy chickens all right so there you have it that's the tour of the chicken coop and you know we've I think these birds are probably about seven weeks old now and I didn't forget about the naming competition we still uh, we got some names in there we got to figure out a little voting poll on Facebook maybe get that stuff put together and uh and get these four named so as always guys thank you for checking out the video they thank you as well <laughs> And if there's, you know, if there's anything you guys got any questions or anything, if there's something, if there's any more detail I can give to you, please, I mean, feel free, message me, leave a question in the comments, you know, and just, uh, just let me know. All your feedback genuinely helps these videos just get better. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, and you know, if you like it, share it with somebody. I appreciate it. All right. We'll catch y'all later.